Good evening, fearless leader. Evening, ladies. The garden looks good. Thanks, Kathleen. We'll have fresh food in no time. So we left you alone all day, and we think now's a good time to take a break and continue with your story. What Lynn said. You still want to hear more? Yes, please. Might as well so we can figure out if you're a hero or a zero. Thanks, Wendy. The girls wanted to go shopping, so we checked out the strip mall down the street. Yeah, squish him. I like hearing them pop when they die. That's sick, Diane. Whatever, Jennifer. This used to be a nice strip mall. I would come here for pizza all the time, Rachel. Me too, Jen. We heard gunshots and knew there was a survivor around. What if they're not friendly? I'll pop a bullet in their ass, Rachel. I'm sure you would, Diane. I ran towards the shots. That's where I found Sarah. She asked us if we had seen two raiders. They had killed her husband. I'm sorry, we haven't seen anyone. I'm Diane. Why don't you join our group? So she joined the group. A gun store. We gotta check it out. Can we get some food first? Yeah, I'm hungry. So we went next door to loot some food. Not gonna worry about the glass, huh? Okie dokie. Sarah left. Where did she go? She said she wanted to track down those two raiders. Oh my gosh, she's crazy. That's what I said. With full bellies, we went and checked out the gun store. That's where I found my first katana sword. My destiny of becoming a great ninja was at hand. Is this the Takagoro Dojo? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Thank you. That's very impressive. Oh. I'm sorry, I just didn't expect to find a white ninja. Do not be fooled by the color of my skin. Do not try it. Have you not heard of the legend of the white child who will grow up to become the greatest ninja master of all time? No. Is that you? Some say it is so. Don't try it. Don't try it. You see, it is written in this holy writ. This is the wrong writ. This is about the sensei and the 18-year-old twin geishas. Are you communicating with me? Are you communicating with me? It is foretold that a foreign child will come among them and become a ninja master like no other. It's burning. Yes, the words have been seared into my soul as well. Ow! They may have a second copy. What are you guys doing? He's pretending to be a ninja, Jennifer. He said there's even a legend about him. Does the legend say why he doesn't wear any pants? I'm freer without him, Diane. Now who wants to be Babe Ruth with this reinforced baseball bat? When I was packing the rover, the girls shot at zombies wandering over. This in turn would bring more zombies. More are coming. We gotta go. Don't freak out, Jennifer. Let's just pull them into that bar. And then what, Diane? We shoot them all, Rachel. Everyone just stay in the back and let them come in. I'll open the door. They're gonna bust it down anyway. Watch out, here they come. Back up. Hey, watch it! Whoops, sorry about that. 
Come on, girls, back up. I bet I can shoot more than all of you. Diane, this isn't a competition. Just shut up and shoot, Rachel. I'm gonna go see if it's clear. Nope, it's not. I got this one. Mine. That was totally mine. I thought this wasn't a competition, Rachel. Just shut up and shoot. You girls are crazy. Hush, we're busy. I was really proud of them. They were working like a team, like a family. I kept looking out to see if it was clear, but zombies kept showing up. Geez, how many are there? I don't know, Rachel, just keep shooting. There's too many dead bodies. I gotta get out of here. Rachel, get back here. I need air. I can't breathe. So we took the fight outside. Ow! You okay? Yeah, just my pride is hurt. They're all stuck on the windows and doors. I see them, Diane. Oh my god, finally. We looted the bodies, then hit the zippy mark. I grabbed some magazines, comic books, and even found a map of March Ridge I didn't have. Have you ever been to March Ridge? Not since I was a child, Diane. You can show me around when we get there. We looted the grocery store next door. I was always in need of butter and lard. And pickles. When I looted the back room, a raider showed up. But the girls were quicker on the draw. This must be one of the raiders Sarah mentioned. I hope she's okay. She seemed like she could take care of herself, Diane. Any day now, Diane. You can always carry me, Rachel. You're unbelievable, I know. We heard gunshots as we drove back to the house. There's someone in that window, and there's Sarah. I see them both, Diane. She must be chasing that raider. Finish him! It's okay, Sarah. It's over. It's finally over. As I washed up at the well, the girls got to know Sarah better. They talked all night. I don't know how they do it. The next day we ran into Laura. She says she didn't trust people and was unsure about a man without any pants. The girls assured her it was an aesthetic choice, and she joined the group. Laura and Sarah stayed back to guard the base, while the girls and I removed the cars from the road and out of the RV's path.
As we washed up, the girls recanted tales of better times. Remember this? Remember that? Remember when? They laughed all night, and then they cried. They laughed and cried. The next day we awoke to thick fog. The girls wanted to explore more of the city, so I told them I'd clear the area for them first. Let me guess, we gotta stay here, right? So we don't get hurt and not cause we don't get in the way, right? That's right, Diane. Good. Don't die. I knew the street I wanted to pull. There was a grocery store on one side and a video store on the other. My plan was to make a little noise and drive the zombies to the other end. Then I would get out and collect them by foot before burning them all. Now that we made all that noise, zombies are ambling towards us. And thus we begin step two, gathering the zombies by foot. I'm glad I brought beta blockers. To keep zombies following you, you will want to keep yelling. Zombies have short attention spans and will soon forget that you love them. You must reassure them by calling out to them. The secret to a controlled burn is to have enough of a circular area to run around in and to just keep circling until you hear the zombies pop. Just like Diane, I too like to hear zombies pop as they die. When you've gathered the zombies in a nice tight circle and with your lighter handy, Feel free to grab your Molotov cocktail and spread some joy. Be aware of your surroundings and be careful when approaching nearby buildings. Fires can spread very fast. I dropped my bag earlier and dug out my bowl of stew. With a full belly and a Land Rover that sounded like it was going to fall apart, I decided to swap cars. I found a Mercedes and thought, chicks dig expensive cars. When I got home, I regaled the girls with the adventure I had undertaken. I can't believe it took you all night, but I really like the car though. Me too, Diane. I knew it.
The next day, Diane, Jennifer, Rachel, and I went to visit the Mega Mart where I pulled the hoard. We looted what we could. Don't forget the chips. I love chips. I know, Diane. We ran into Catherine in the parking lot. She said to call her cat. She asked if we saw her brother. Haven't seen him, sorry, but you're welcome to join our group. I'm Diane. So she joined the group. We went to the video store next, but the shutters were locked. There was no other way in, and I didn't bring my sledgehammer. As we left, we noticed Kat was nowhere to be found. You guys didn't see where she went? I was following you, exclaimed Jennifer. So was I, said Rachel. Don't look at me. Great. So we drove back to the house. I ended up putting the groceries away, which took me all night. The next day I decided to make some stew, and I made sure to put a little extra love in it for the girls. I had to get gas at the gas station, and Diane and Laura volunteered to come along. I told Laura to use her gun. She froze like a deer caught in the headlights. Diane laughed. Snap out of it, Laura. I noticed a garden with fresh vegetables behind the station. Those tomatoes would make a great salad. What did you guys find? We found a garden, Diane. Then let's go pick some vegetables. And then Diane started shooting. Jesus, are you alright, Diane? Yeah, I'm fine. Why didn't you run? I told you, I don't feel like running. It's a good thing we already killed all the zombies around here. This isn't funny, Diane. Then why am I laughing, Laura? I decided to check Diane's health. She was infected again and high on painkillers again. Is she gonna be okay? I'm gonna be fine, Laura, don't worry about me. I got my painkillers. What if you're infected? No biggie, I'm immune. I love the smell of gasoline. Me too, Diane. Same. The next day I checked on Diane. I'll be fine. I disinfected her wounds and changed her bandages. You're so sweet. Why don't you marry me? After the apocalypse. You two are so cute together. You sure she's not gonna turn? I've been infected before, Sarah. What if we're all immune? That's what Marie said, Laura. Who's Marie? She found out she wasn't immune. Since it was raining, I watched a movie after eating a hearty bowl of stew. That's when I realized I forgot to go back to the video store to complete my collection. So I put on Train Bomb.
All right, pop quiz. Airport, gunman with one hostage. He's using her for cover. He's almost to a plane. You're 100 feet away. What do you think? Shoot the hostage. What? Go for the good wound, and he can't get to the plane with her. Clear shot. You're deeply nuts, you know that? Anything else that'll keep this elevator from falling? Ah! The basement. All right, gentlemen, what we have here are 13 passengers in an express elevator. Bomb's already taken out cables. Bomber wants $3 million or he blows the emergency brakes. Will the mystery guest please sign in? Why are they messing with me? Do they think I'm doing this for fun? <laughs> for L.A. cop Jack Traven, the game began when someone put the city of Los Angeles to the ultimate test. Pop quiz, hot shot. There's a bomb on a bus. Once the bus goes 50 miles an hour, the bomb is armed. If it drops below 50, it blows up. What do you do? What do you do? Everybody hold on! Sandra Bullock. Pop quiz. You have a hair trigger aimed at your head. What do you do? What do you do? Speed. Get ready for rush hour. Then I spent the rest of the night playing Kaboom. Diane had broken my record. Laura and Sarah volunteered to come with me to the video store. Diane wanted to come, but I told her to stay and rest. She didn't like that. Kat walked over to us as we arrived at the video store. She said she found her brother, but was separated from him again because of the zombies. You're taking all of them? I'll sort them out when I get home. Just after looting the video store, we ran into Blair, Kat's brother. Where the hell have you been? I was running for my life, Kat. I'm lucky to be alive. So he joined the group. When we came out of the milk and more, we ran into Valerie walking towards us. She said she missed the internet. I told her we had space crew, so she joined the group. Just around the corner, we ran into another Laura. We already got a Laura, exclaimed Laura. Laura too said we were the only family she had. Live with it, Laura, Sarah said. So I invited Laura too along. On our way home, Blair called out for help. I hurt my leg, I can't run. Fine, you can take my spot in the car, Blair. I'll go with you, Sarah. Thanks, Val. The new members of the group introduced themselves. Blair, I thought you hurt your leg. It healed. You're such a jerk, the girls shrieked. I checked on Diane. Wow, she's completely healed. I'm immune now, Jennifer. Maybe we could find someone who could turn her blood into a cure. If we could do that, we could save humanity, said Jennifer. Humanity? We can't even save ourselves. Shut up, Blair, no one asked you, remarked Kat. The next day, two months into the apocalypse, a jet flew overhead. Everyone believed since the Air Force was still around, then more survivors must be as well. 
And maybe even someone who could turn Diane's blood into a cure. Maybe, Jen. You're all delusional. Everyone's a zombie. Or they're soon gonna be. It's just a matter of time. Shut up, Blair, the girls shouted. I decided to cook the group some stew. Then I spent the rest of the night playing Kaboom. Diane had broken my record again. The next day, zombies wandered into our base, and they wouldn't stop coming. Rachel and Laura stayed back to guard the base while the rest of the group and I went out to deal with the horde. Valerie stood there frozen at the zombies pouring in. There's too many! There's too many! Calm down, Valerie. Take some beta blockers. Diane laughed as she yelled, Red light! Green light! This isn't a joke, Diane. Then why am I laughing, Jennifer? Because you're high on painkillers! Oh yeah! I saw Sarah standing frozen in the road, mumbling to herself as zombies almost ate her. You okay, Sarah? The girls said as they all gathered around her. It's my fault he's dead. Snap out of it, Sarah! Laura too shouted. I don't understand. I thought you killed all the zombies around here. They must have wandered over, Jen. It's not my fault. Diane, what the hell? You're the cure, Diane. You can't let them eat you. They can't kill me. I'm invincible. Diane, you really need to stop taking those pills. Sarah stood frozen in the road again, mumbling to herself. It's my fault. It's my fault. Snap out of it, Sarah. What's wrong with Sarah? I don't know, Blair. Just keep killing zombies. What do you think I'm doing, Cat? Making other people do the work for you, as usual. What do we do? What do we do? First, you have to calm down, Cat. You're gonna trip over your own feet. Run, Laura. Quit fooling around, Blair. I'm trying to survive here, Cat. Diane stood frozen in the street. Come and get me, you walking pieces of corpses. Diane, what are you doing? They can't kill me, Jen. I'm invincible. You're completely losing it, Diane. As the group was killing the zombie attacking Diane, Valerie was trying to get Sarah to move, but ended up being zombie food instead. I'm sorry I had to squish you, Valerie. Diane just kept taunting zombies. Come and get me, you fuckers! Diane, run! They can't kill me. Cat killed the zombie attacking Diane, who just laughed and laughed. You're crazy, Diane. I can't die. I'm invincible. We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Shut up, Blair, the girls shouted. When it was over, we saw Sarah being eaten by zombies.
She kept saying it was her fault. And she got Valerie killed. Maybe she couldn't live with the guilt. You guys are crazy. Diane thinks she's Supergirl. And our leader doesn't have any pants. He knows what he's doing. You know what you're doing, right? Yeah, I'm going to bury them. Why'd you mark a third one? Why do you think, Diane? The next day, the group was fussy about what happened, so I decided to take off for a while and explore the roads. I left Diane in charge, while Kat and Blair volunteered to come along. We drove through the city to the south exit of town, I can't see anything through this fog. Shut up, Blair. You shut up, Cat. Why don't you both shut up? You got us in trouble. You got us in trouble. We found a raider trying to escape zombies. So I honked my horn to attract more. Yeah, eat that, asshole. Shut up, Blair. I'll run all those zombies, you bastard. We exited out of the south end of town and followed the main road. While we were driving, we crashed the car. And when I came to, Blair and Kat were gone. Why did you say crashed like that? What I mean is, I crashed, Wendy. Why do you keep emphasizing crashed? Lynn, you too? I'm just saying, can I get on with the story or what? Yeah, as long as you don't crash, get it? I said it the way you did. I get it, Kathy. A zombie was wearing a black cowboy hat that I wanted, so I led the zombies around the barn so I could grab it. You risked your life for a cowboy hat? In a zombie apocalypse, you need to be willing to die for what's important to you. I've got that lightning inside me, son of a god. This is how legends are made. I drove up to a nearby farmhouse looking for a new car, since the Mercedes was dying on me. I ran into Lorna, who thanked me for getting rid of the zombies, and offered me lemonade. You can take the truck if you want. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. I siphoned gas from the Mercedes and put it into the truck. Because she gave me the truck, I gave her my old cowboy hat. I'll always treasure this. Okay. When I washed up, Lorna suggested we spend the night. When I went to bed, Lorna asked if she could sleep with me because she was afraid of the dark. I said no problem. The next day we found an army surplus store. Lorna's gunplay, however, had begun to attract a lot of zombies. Soon we began to be overwhelmed.
I told Lorna to seek safety in the trees while I tried to lead the zombies away. And just as I popped some beta blockers, Lorna came running back. I can't leave you. You're gonna get yourself killed, Lorna. If it's to save your life, it's worth it. And then Lorna was eaten. Did you bury her? I didn't bring a shovel, Kathy. That night, a jet flew over as I was loading up the truck with guns and ammo. This time, they dropped a supply crate, so I went to check it out. I found the supply crate. Since it was so late, I went back to the Army surplus store and slept in the tent. The next day I marked a gas station on the map and noted a van with extra seats that might come in handy. As I drove on, I found Cat and Blair surrounded by zombies. What the hell are you guys doing out here? Blair ran after the car crashed and I went chasing after him. You left me to die. Blame Blair. He's an asshole. Just hurry up and get to the truck. Blair's still in the field. God dang it. Blair, get in. Don't worry about me. I'll lure them away. Are you crazy, Blair? Get in the truck. You're right, Cat. I am an asshole. And I'm gonna make it up to you. To all of you. Right now. Blair! I'll find you again, Cat. That was the last time we ever saw Blair. I swapped vehicles and took the van since it had more seating. And a very special horn. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Wow, that's a long horn. Have you ever seen the show? Not at all. So this horn is completely wasted right now? Pretty much. I'm glad you're here, Cat. Me too. We went back to the supply drop and checked out the supplies. The supply crate had everything you need to survive. Fishing gear, medical supplies, and preserved food. No toilet paper? Yes, they had toilet paper too, Lynn. We spent the night in an office. I took a chair and set it up in the bathroom so we wouldn't be disturbed. Last time I slept in the bathroom, I was passed out after drinking. That's funny, Cat. True story.
The day seemed like night as we drove through a thunderstorm the next day. We found a gun store, so we took what we could. Then we slept in the chair again. The thunderstorm continued the next day. We made our way through a town called Pitstop as we headed back towards Trelai. After four days on the road, we pulled up to our home base. Well, it's about time you showed. We thought you were dead. You always think I'm dead, Diane. I noticed Laura too was missing. Diane said they were invaded by zombies the other day, and no one's seen her since. Speaking of zombies, they were making their way over to the base again. So we went out to deal with them again. More and more came. More than any of us thought would come. That looks like a lot of zombies. Everyone just be calm and be cool. I bet I can kill more than all of you. Not now, Diane. Rachel stood frozen with fear as the girls tried to help her. But Jennifer became the first casualty. Jennifer, no! Kill me if I turn! To make matters worse, a raider showed up. But she was too busy dealing with zombies to be a threat. She came at me with an axe, but was no match for my shotgun. Diane, you're gonna get yourself killed! I'm invincible! You got the cure inside you, you have to be careful! I am the chosen one, Laura! Diane, snap out of it! And then the zombies ate Rachel. Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Rachel wasn't invincible like me. Not now, Diane.
It got late by the time the zombies stopped arriving. So we washed up and called it a night. We'll bury everyone tomorrow. The next morning I found Emma skulking into the house. You don't have to sneak around. Our base is secure. Hi, I'm Emma. Why don't you have any pants? Free or without them? Okay. And she joined the group. A few moments later, Samuel showed up. Emma's best friend. Sam, you're alive. I thought the zombies ate you, Emma. No, I ran. So did I. I love reunions. I checked on Diane's health. She was completely healed again. I told you I'm invincible. Jennifer might have been right about you, Diane. Maybe you are the cure to all of this. How do you want me to develop the cure, Cat? Maybe one of those scientists in those army bases can help. Emma's right. We've seen military jets fly by. People must still be alive. If we can find them, maybe they can do something. We gotta find them first, Sam, and hope they don't shoot us on the spot. At the very least, we have to keep Diane safe. I'm invincible, Cat. Who was she? Her name was Rachel. She liked canned spaghetti. She was from here like you, Emma. So were the others. How many more others? Not many. Like five or six. Laura too went missing though. Does everyone just die in this group? Pretty much, Emma. Welcome aboard. I cooked the preserved food I found in the supply crate. I would freeze them and save them for winter. That night, we heard gunshots ring out. What if it's Laura too? It could be anybody, Cat. We have to check, Diane. She might need our help. Of course she needs our help. She's not invincible like me. There were still guns and ammo in the seats that I hadn't packed away yet, so Sam and Cat ran alongside the van. But approaching zombies had them running scared. So I pulled over to try to help. And that's when they got Diane. This was something I would live to regret forever. Think of you every step of the way. So goodbye. Please don't cry. Bittersweet memories. So I'll go. But I know. I'm sorry, Diane.
I'm really sorry about Diane. We can't think about that now, Lynn. Anyone see anything? I heard noise behind the fence. Everyone stay close. I'm going to take a look around. Six raiders. They got someone trapped in the shed. Be careful. I always am. Anyone see where those two guys went? They took off running. I watered the plants before I went to bed, but two raiders came looking for revenge. You killed my brother Paul. My bad. What kind of gun is that? MP45. Takes a while to load a magazine with bullets though. Yeah, that's why I only carry a rifle. Yeah, me too. I'll remember that. Some days I just don't know why I get out of bed.